as, as a leader of one of the best uh, jiu-jitsu competition schools mm -hmm. and one of the most successful athletes come from Alliance and they did very well this past year. What, in your opinion, an athlete needs to do well in competition? Well, there are a bunch of factors that uh, the athlete has to be to be in top shape for the tournament. Uh, the way that he's uh, training over all the years to reach you know, a level when he's going to compete in the top events in the world. Remember that Jiu-Jitsu is not like before that you compete two or three times and then that's it. Now we have Jiu-Jitsu all over the world. Due to a hard work from the Federation, from all the masters, from, from everything, you know, from each person that contributes to the success of Jiu-Jitsu that reach this level nowadays in the world. It's really amazing. So the athlete to succeed in a bracket when he has like 60, 70 guys competing, he needs to be special. There is no doubt. So there are a bunch of things. The way that he uh, behaves outside the mats, uh, his level of nutrition, his level of expertise, his level of uh, discipline to train every day, the conditioning. So all these factors are so important. And of course, you know, uh, who he's training with. It's rare nowadays to see somebody that just comes out of the blue and wins a championship, even in a blue belt level. So that's my two cents. And how do you inspire athletes to follow um, this path of being in shape and try to keep focused? What's the best way, do you think, for them to, to do well in jiu Well, uh, talking about myself, I try to just like uh, Carlos Gracie or any other top instructor, we try to pass a little bit of our experience in Jiu-Jitsu. What make you be successful or not in life in general. So it's very important your eating habits, okay, the way you eat, that has to be very healthy most of the time, uh, the way you train. The, the way you think about jiu-jitsu in general is not just being on the mat every day, but it's a, it's a lifestyle. And we, we try to inspire and lead by example. Because if you're on the mat every day, if you're doing everything correctly, and they shouldn't see that, I think this will inspire them to try to follow this type of model and be successful. Yes, I agree. And uh, one last question. What's your favorite technique? That's a personal curiosity of mine. Yeah, well, I don't have a personal uh, one technique that, you know, is my favorite. There are a bunch of techniques that are my favorites, you know, that if we are able to connect the techniques when we train, and this technique will be the favorite. I remember Hickson said one time when I was training at his school after Hall's died, and the same question was asked to him. And he said, well, any technique that works is my favorite. Thank you so much.